about sharing. And, and I think what makes Alexander Rouge special is that it's timeless. Love is timeless. And that's not exclusive to like one region or one language or one culture or one religion. People get it, and when they get it, they get that love story. And they want to talk about that. And that's what I think makes it special, is that it really can reach everyone. Really great examples of that are with the three actors. You know, Porik, Delaney, Sarah Malaka Lane, and Oleg Menshikov. Each one of them, in my conversations with them, not only have they been concerned about their character and, and, and what we want to do with that, but they get this. They get this theme of love. They understand that Alexander is struggling with his love for the father, with the father's love for him, with his love for his best friend and his best friend's love for him. When you're casting somebody for a role like Alexander Rouge, you're thinking about, geez, what can I, what can I get from an actor that's not going to be said? What can I get from the eyes, from the expression, the hands, the movement? And when you watch the character that Porrick plays, Teddy, in The Wind That Shakes the Barley, there is such depth. And there's a lot going on. And of course, in a Ken Loach film, he's going to direct it that way. But it takes a certain type of actor to pull it off. Porrick Delaney you know, was casted as Hamlet, and he played it. And I think that. Any person who approaches that text walks away with a very, very ser serious understanding of what it is to reach out into the darkness and try to find some sort of truth. And that's what Alexander sees in his Ingrid. Is he, he, of course, he's taken by the pretty face. But when he goes deeper into that, he's shocked, overwhelmed by the real person. And it would be impossible to cast somebody who doesn't have that already to pull that off. You know, a really great moment was when, um, was when I was sitting with Sarah at the Bristol Hotel, and I said to her, I said, you know, Sarah, Ingrid, what is she scared of? She said that Ingrid is desiring, wanting, and scared of love. And when she gave me that answer and understood the screenplay on that level, it was exciting, it was, it was right. To have Oleg Menshikov on board with the film, not only is he a fantastic actor, not only is he a truly great superstar, he is also somebody who has a very intuitive understanding of drama. Gets right to the nerve of things right away. And, and talking with him when I was in Russia, it was, it, it, all the, all, the, all, all the air in the room just vanished and it became about what we were talking about, which was what was on the page and what made this role important. How to play it, who he was. That's why Oleg Menshikov. When I'm lost and I don't know where to go, I always go back to that love can save you now. How do I address that in this scene? How do I address that in this moment? How do I address that as a creative force? And it really has been my compass. And that's what's important about this film, that we have Alexander's point of view. He's very confused, he's a bit disoriented, and at times awkward. And the look of the film will reflect that. I found my references for it is in documentary. Uh, documentary films that are on the camera, uh, moving around, looking, searching for answers. It's his self-discovery. And if the camera betrays that, if the filmmaking, the film language, doesn't reflect that, then I think that we have made a different type of film. I'm just trying to tell a love story.